Urban Programmer here back with another video. In this video I will be showing you how to create a media player so that you can add sound to your app. So first um, we're going to create a media player variable. Type in media player. Call it sound. And um, as you can see, I need to import this uh, uh, library. So I'll push Alt, Enter, Import Class. And um, next, we'll create a method to handle this sound private void button sound set sound we'll set the sound variable equal to media player dot create then they'll take two parameters this for this class r dot raw now before I do this make sure you have a raw file in your resource folder so if you don't have the raw file you need to uh, create the raw file Go right click new add a new directory then after you get the raw file, you want to add a sound file, which it could be an MP3. You got different type of sound files. This is an MP3. You add it in raw, and then after you have that ready, you should be able to continue. So we'll type in r dot raw in the sound, the in the file name sound. And that is for that. Now let's decide on create method. I'll add the method button sound. Now to make the sound actually work, I'm gonna put it inside of a button click method. So when this button is clicked, the sound should should go off. So we'll do sound dot star and that will start the sound so every time this button is, is clicked the sound will go off and that's pretty much it save it synchronize Let's go ahead and run it Okay, I'll click the next button and I can hear the sound. Now you guys can't hear the sound because I'm actually using a real device. This is not an emulator, but I am projecting the image of my real device here. So every time I click it, I can hear the button sound. So if you follow this tutorial, you should have your button sound should be working. So thanks for watching this Android Studio tutorial on how to um, create a media player variable and a sound for your app. Make sure you subscribe, Urban Programmer.